Hello everyone. In this quick video, we will see how to create reference forms to automatically capture leads from your website, social media and other platforms. Let's get started. Firstly, let's go to lead management from the sidebar. Before you create a form to capture your leads, you will need to have a pipeline. Think of a sales pipeline as a spreadsheet where you can capture, manage and track all your leads data. As you see here, for my digital marketing agency, I have created different pipelines for my different services. If you want to create a new pipeline, you can do that from here and if you need any help, do check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create a contact form. To create a contact form, just go to the form section and click on create form. First, you need to select a pipeline. If you have multiple pipelines, you can select one from this drop down menu. Keep in mind that once the pipeline is saved, you won't be able to change it. Now let's see how to select and add fields. As you see here, fields like name, email, phone number, etc. are added to your forms by default. You can add or remove these fields by turning the toggle on or off. If you want to change the order of the fields, use this drag and drop handle. Any changes you make will be shown in the preview here. If you want to edit any field, just click on the settings icon. In my case, in the email field, I want people to share their work email only. I can do that by using the placeholder text and help text. I will also mark this checkbox as I want to make this field mandatory. Let's see how we can use this hidden field. Hidden fields are useful when you want to make a field invisible for the users but visible to you. For example, suppose you are getting leads from multiple sources, adding a hidden field can help you track the source of your leads. To create a new hidden field, click on the add new custom field button and select hidden field. By the way, this field type option is really helpful if you need different formats like currency, radio, drop down menu, checkbox, etc. I will go ahead with the single line text because I just want to add the source name. In the default value, I will write the source name. So whenever I get a new lead, I will know its source. Now that we are done adding fields, Let's move ahead with the configuration. First, I will add a form title that my end users will see. Then, I will add a form name for my internal reference. I can also customize the thank you message to my liking. You can also send a confirmation email to users when they fill out the form by turning this toggle on. You can either go ahead with the default theme or inherit your website's theme in case you are embedding the form on your website. Premium users can also hide the reference branding from here. Once you are done, click save and publish. Now your form is ready to use. As you see, there are two ways to publish the form on your website. Either you can embed it or you can open it with a click of a button. Depending on your requirement, copy the code from here and embed it into your website. You can also get a shareable link that you can directly share with your sales reps or potential leads. Any leads captured via these forms will automatically show up in your sales pipeline. Let's see how. In the form section, you will be able to view all the forms whether they are active or in draft mode. You can also see the number of leads captured through these forms from here. If you want to make edits to your form, click on more icon and go to edit. To view all the leads captured through this form, click on view leads. You can see all the information provided by your leads here. If you want to show or hide a column, you can do that from here. If you want to learn more about how to manage your leads on reference, do check out the link in the description. That's it folks, your custom forms to automatically capture leads from your website and other platforms are ready to go.